What you got in the bag there? Look at that. He's got the yeah. straps. They got the straps. Oh, no. Sunday night, tables, ladders, and chairs, WWE. We're joined by a new day, Kofi Kingston, Big E. Boys, how are we doing today? Oh, oh yeah, fantastic. we are well. We are quite Quite well, thanks. Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. it's early in the morning. I was hoping that maybe you'd bring some pancakes. Anybody? Pancakes? Well, our uh, our chef, he's not a traveling chef now. He likes to he warm. Go to the he show couldn't make that. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 sorry. Yeah. When you guys had aspirations of being in the WD when you were young kids, young, you know, coming up as wrestlers, did you ever think that pancakes would play as big of a role as they do? As a big of a bit as your uh, in your career, not a absolutely chance. not, <laughs> not a chance, absolutely not. The thought that wasn't never something you dreamt up at age no, fifteen or anything. No, no, no. <laughs> my whole career, I just wanted to be serious. Like I like Goldberg was my favorite, uh-huh. and that's when I first started in NXT. I was very serious and just angry for no reason. So that's why I was gravitated towards. And it's baffling that I'm just <laughs> yeah. this absurd, uh, hip shaking, uh, <laughs> unicorn horn wearing. Whose just idea was that? Uh, how did the unicorn horn start? The what unicorn- started? Had the idea for the us being like the unicorns of WWE? Right. We yeah. talked about that, and we would hold our index finger uh, on our on that. our head, <laughs> you know, uh, kind of pantomiming a unicorn horn. And then there was a Halloween episode where we uh, had some of the people in we, what we call magic. They're like they fix all the props and everything, and mm-hmm. they had like these uh, crystalline like horns that they put on these black straps that we put on our heads, like like Daniel Sun, you know, with the, <laughs> yeah, the headband. Yeah. And we tied them, and it was actually really painful. But um, as soon as we came back after that, uh, so we were on the commentary desk. And then uh, the merchandise guys all came. They're like, oh, we can make unicorn horns. We can order them from, from here and we can <laughs> actually you know, sell them, have them light up. It's like, yeah, let's do it. And then within like a couple weeks, they had them. And then we were wearing unicorn horns on our heads. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's kind, of, kind of how it happened. <laughs> did some of the, be honest, some of these new day ideas that you guys come up with, did some of them come maybe like late nights on the road after a show, maybe come back to the hotel and like, hey, no one would be hilarious? <laughs> yeah, I think we do actually do a lot of our best work uh, in the car rides. We yeah, would, yeah. Um, you know, for years, kind of it's different now, Woods has been out, but we travel together. Um, so it's not just on TV, but we'd spend mm-hmm. a lot of time in cars uh, because, you know, like half the job, if not more, is traveling from town to town, driving 200 to 300 miles a night um so we would come up with all these ideas or we'd see stuff on twitter that made us laugh but <laughs> it was a just a great place for us to to brew ideas uh you know and so many of it you know so much of the, the ideas are just nonsensical like what booty cereal yeah. i think was it Bro, in the car no we actually yeah we actually both we had separate conversations yeah. with, with woods yeah about what the cereal should be called right and kofi said and, booty well just to, so just to back it up a little bit so uh we were thinking about ideas for a new shirt and we had come out and somebody had a weedy sign with That's our right. face on it you know, Wheaties box, and uh, we're sitting there thinking of shirts. Um, and me and E were riding together for whatever reason. We'll just ride uh, by himself. And then me and E were trying to think. And actually, we went out to breakfast, and uh, he was like, you know what? You remember that sign that we saw? Uh, we should have a cereal, uh, a cereal box with our faces on it. You know, we should call it Bootios. I'm like, oh, that's amazing. I can't wait to tell Woods about this later <laughs> oh, today. That's right, that's right. Yeah, so yeah. we get into the car. And um, we call Woods up and we start explaining to him like, hey, we think we got an idea for a shirt. Our face is on a cereal box. And before we could even get the concept out, he said, oh, yeah, bootios. <laughs> I swear to God. Like, and we had no conversation of it. it so we're new. like, OK, yep. we're we we're locked in now, guys. To be. We're locked yep. in. You know, hive mind for sure. Isn't life so much better when you can be silly instead of having to be serious? Oh, like, my you God. Be, you want to be this like, so super much serious right. guy. Yeah. Yeah, you can just mess around all yeah. day. Yeah. All yeah. Day. And I used to think about, you know, if I got to be world champion as a serious wrestler, it wouldn't be nearly as fun as all the things we've been able to do as a group and just it just allows us so many just different avenues whether it's appearances and signings it's just like we have so much fun i'll look back at the last five years and think i can't imagine like things can always be better but i couldn't imagine having more fun mm-hmm. in in my career getting to do things we do with our friends uh travel the world uh, and legit, like, I, on a nightly basis, whether it's live events or TV, we're, like, stifling a laugh because <laughs> we're just having so much fun or we're across the ring from, like, one of the one of our biggest things, uh, at least, like, that brings us so much joy is uh, having our opponents break. Yeah. Like, I remember, like, uh, we <laughs> trying to get Randy or we work, we'd work with Big Show for a while. Yeah. Uh, and just, see, we I always love having the first entrance so we get to the ring and then, like, I think we worked uh, Big Show and the Usos. We had six mans for a while when we were in Europe years ago. Uh, and just every night, it was great. We like our goal was to break Big Show before he stepped foot in the ring, yeah. and we got him every single every night. Single night. Just <laughs> ring, trying just to hide it. But no, it was it's so much fun, man, on a nightly basis. 
So what's it like, though, um, having a job where every holiday season you're awarded with an event where you get to hit your, your, your opponents with tables, ladders, and chairs? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, Merry fitting. Christmas. Here's yeah. some tables, ladders, and chairs. Yeah. Go, go at it, boys. It's fun, man. Like, we, you know, tables, ladders, and chairs coming up, TLC, mm-hmm. um, this Sunday. Sunday night Target Center? And yeah, yeah. We have front row tickets, by the way. You do. Yeah. Good for you. As soon as we're done talking to you guys. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah, but it, it's awesome, man. especially like a pay-per-view like this is so uh, unique. You, I mean, you know what you're going to see. Mm-hmm. You're probably going to see someone go through a ladder or a table or a chair you know what i mean um but it's um it's unique man it's it's awesome to be a part of something where the job is never the same like two days in a row right you know like these different pay-per-views have different themes you have money in the bank you know the royal rumble is coming up too Speaking um, of, have you started up thinking of up your spot yet? No, I don't. I don't. Mm. I don't. I don't marinate on it like yep. until okay. at, maybe like a week before, sure. maybe okay. you know. But um, and the, I'm always of the mind of like if I don't come up with one, then that'll I just won't come up with one. Yeah, I just get okay. thrown out like everybody else. You don't stress, you know. So I don't, I, I refuse to stress about it. But um, John Morrison is back now, Ooh, who I got the idea yeah. from uh-huh. for uh, doing unique things. So that might be something that's interesting if he's involved in it in some way, shape, or form. But um. Yeah, it, it's great. It's great. What's uh, what what hurts the most? What hurts the least between tables, ladders, and chairs? Well, mm. yeah, I, I can say <laughs> the the most painful, the most pain I've ever felt in a ring uh-huh. uh, was actually right outside the ring. Was I got hit in the back with a chair by Eric Rowan? Rowan, Rowan who, yes. and he's from and he's from he Minnesota. Is. Yes, he lives in yeah. Savage actually. Yeah. Yeah. Savage, Minnesota. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, and yes. he was savage with that chair. <laughs> he was <laughs> because yes. I I man I, I think I was in the middle of a, like a gauntlet match, being in the ring for about an hour, and I was only like maybe twenty minutes through. And uh, he hit me so hard. And I started, like, tearing up. And I was like, oh, my God. I'm like, okay. Oh, it's probably okay to cry here, right? Like, the, from a character perspective, like, this won't, like, lessen, you know, my, right, people yeah. will laugh at me because it really hurt. That was that was That was the, the gauntlet, too. Pain. You were wrestling yeah, for an hour. Yes. So you had an hour of yeah. pain. Yeah. And there was and this more. Man, yeah, there was yeah. more to come. Oh, yeah. Yep. So for me, the chair. Chair? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the nice part about being big is you don't really have to take, to, to take a lot of those things. So I don't think, I don't think, have I ever gone through a table? Maybe like once or twice. They're not making you climb the ladder and do a swanton through a table or anything. No, 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 no. I don't care for ladders. No, I, no, no thank you. Um, so yeah, I've never really been hit with the ladder. I don't think, maybe like once, but yeah, I don't, I don't You remember, you have it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I have. I get to be the big guy and avoid all that stuff. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, Vince McMahon travel with you guys? Everywhere you go is Vince McMahon there at TVs most, T- most yeah. of the TVs when we were there for Smackdown so yeah he's uh what's I think he what, like in real life it's people I think think of him as this nefarious yeah I hate um, it because of the character he plays on TV. Mm-hmm. yeah Probably. right him. uh and sure he could be stern at times but like one of the best parts about uh, I think uh, forming the group and going through so many trials and tribulations is we had to talk to Vince on a regular basis we had to go in and mm-hmm. and talk to him like on a weekly basis so we got to really build a rapport with him and he's been arguably our biggest fan from the get-go of course like he gave us an idea that we weren't able yeah. to make work that we all kind of <laughs> thought was not very good but he saw something in us um from the beginning he he wanted vignettes for us which were big as far as like getting our characters off the ground and getting to film stuff um so it's uh we have a nice rapport with Vince, and i think the cool thing is well, i don't know if it was the last 24 or the new day 24 we did a couple yeah. years ago but I, there was a clip of him just just yucking up just <laughs> laughing and clapping as we yeah. do our entrance um, but it always amazes me to look over where like gorilla is the position yeah. um, right before you go out uh, in front of the people and, and make your entrance. And he always sits behind gorilla. That's that's his position hmm. um, with headsets on. And uh, whenever I, I start doing the intro and I look over at him and he's always smiling or like <laughs> clapping or just giggling, just just real pleased with it. Five and I can't straight. believe after yeah. five years of this that he's not tired of it. So that, that's a good sign, I that's guess. Yeah. All right. Well, we know we have some WWE PR people in there. Close close your ears now. Tell us what you really think of Vince. <laughs> <laughs> we know. At this point, yeah, we don't yeah. care. Yeah. 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 We're, we're honest. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We could, you know. All right. Well, yeah, well hey, Sunday up. night, Target Center, TLC, pay-per-view. Uh, what can the fans expect if they've never been to a pay-per-view before? What's New Day going to do? What's it going to be like for them? Being at a pay-per-view or being on uh, going to a WWE show live is completely different than what you see on TV. Mm-hmm. And now, uh, I keep stressing it, we have pyrotechnics now. That means fireworks, kids. Pew, pew, you know? pew, and it just pew. adds so much to the show. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Uh, the set is a new set. Um, and obviously, a, a pay-per-view like TLC is obvious. It's always like a memorable pay-per-view. So, mm-hmm. um, you guys are real lucky nice, you know, yeah. to be having it. They don't come that often. Yeah, they don't. And then actually, you know, Minnesota, too, is like an underrated uh, wrestling town. You know what I mean? Like, you you guys don't get a lot of credit for being um, 
as big of fans as you guys are. Oh, we were so a pioneer in wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Wrestling yeah. and some of the, some of the yeah, yeah, yeah. federations yeah. that we had here. Oh, yeah. You guys had a lot of history. Uh, you guys have a lot of history We here, had a so. governor who was a professional wrestler. That's true. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to be an incredible show. Of course, uh, tickets only start at $25, mm-hmm. and that is not a deal. That's a steal. <laughs> yeah, we just came up with that, actually. It's good. crazy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. But uh, Access.com, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh-huh. Yes. And, 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 Target Center. and I would Dot show com. the GoFam right now that they can call in and win uh, front row front tickets. Row. Oh, wow. Pancake. What a treat. Wow. Sit next to you guys. Yeah. 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 Watch out for chairs and pancakes coming at you. 651-989-9696. Get you front row WWE TLC Sunday night. Target Center. Tickets started at $25, and I heard that's a steal, right? Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's Thank right. you, gentlemen. That's Thank a you. steal. Bargain. Kingston, Big E, New Day. Thanks so much, guys, for coming in, guys. Yeah. yeah.